Hello. In next few modules, I'm going to show you how to use resources. But first of all, we should know how can we create resources, what variable fields are, and what type of resources do we have. Uh, let me explain you what are resources. Resources are what you need to perform a task. So here, we, we can define who is going to do the analysis, in my example, and what do we need? Do we need some, some licenses? Do we need some, some material, etc., etc.? So, first of all, we, uh, we can, uh, uh, I can show you here that we can assign resources, but we don't have any. So, first of all, we are going to uh, define them. You should expect, which is logically, that resources can be defined under resource tab, but that is not true. If you want to resor uh, define resources, go to view tab here, and here you will see under resource view, resource sheet. When you open resource sheet, you will here have some opportunities to define all of your resources. First of all, let's give uh, to resource a name. Let's call him John. As I mentioned in my previous video with task names, never ever use same name for two resources. So if you have two Johns uh, and they can have uh, same first name or last name, you should make a difference between those two uh, resource name. So if one is John Wayne, okay, then you can create another one with name John Wayne 2 or whatever you want. Okay, now I created John. Let me correct this John. We have three types of resources. Resources are work, material, and cost. Work is resource who is going to perform work. So basically, the effort or working hours are going to be calculated on them. So let me uh, stay on this type of resources as and as we will progress with, uh, uh, with knowing resources better and better from video to video, I will explain how to use material resource, how to, how to uh, cre create them, etc., etc. For now, let's stick with John and let's say Mary. Both of them are work resources. Material here is not usable because it is obviously used by material resource and since John and Mary are work resources, we are not going to use them. Initials are Initials which are going to be used for some uh, for some searching, uh, etc. But basically, I don't see a, a very uh, high usage of them. Group is something which I'm going to show you when we are going to uh, uh, cover uh, how to uh, search availability of some resources. And now we are going to stick uh, not to material, not to initials, not to group, but to max. Max means, for example, 100%. How much of work can be allocated to a resource before it becomes over allocated? So let me give you an example. If John has 100% allocation, maximum allocation, so it means if you put John here, let's go to uh, GAN chart, and you will see that uh, those two tasks, design, uh, design uh, uh, M1 and design uh, analysis M2 uh, are going to be performed at the same time. So if I put John here, and I will cover how to put, how to assign resources separately, but this is just, a basic cover of resources. If I put him here, and it is supposed that he is going to work eight hours per day, and if I put him here as well, you will see that I will get 
here this ray, uh, red, let's say, sign that someone, and in this case, I uh, know exactly that this is John, because John is only assigned to those two tasks, is over allocated. So, but basically, if you put more than eight hours to tasks which are going to be performed at the same period, even if you, if you put a minute, so let's say that John uh, is going to work eight hours here and one minute here, he will be over allocated unless you put it some, uh, somehow else, but that is not what, what will be covered today. Today, I want to show you what maximum uh, uh, means. And maximum doesn't mean that you should and, uh, and that you could not allocate resources differently on the same task. So you can put John, for example, to, to work on task A at Monday 50%, on task B at Monday 50%, and he will not going to be over allocated. No, because the total allocation for those two, uh, uh, two tasks are less or equal 100%. The same is with Mary. If you don't want, for example, if John is available eight hours per day, but you don't want to spend the whole day on your project, let's say he is supposed to work only 50%, you will going to put here 50%, which means that the total amount of work for John is 50% of his available hours. So if they, uh, his available hours are from eight to four, this is eight hours, it means that he can do only four, four hours per day before he will become uh, over allocated. So let me put here a 100%. Then standard rate, standard rate is for standard working time, how the cost will be calculated. So if I put here, you can see K KN, which is Croatian Kunas, which is my local currency, but you don't have to worry about that because calculation is calculation. We can put here dollars or whatever. So I can put dollars here, file, options, okay. So I can go here to display and I can say, okay, I don't want currency to beat Croatian Kunas. I can say, okay, USD, so let me find this, USD, American dollars, and you will see that now I will have zero dollars per hour. So let me put that standard rate for John is $100 per, $100 per hour or for Mary $200 per hour. I can put $100 per day as well, okay? So be, uh, uh, by default, if you put just 100, it will be 100 uh, per hour. But you can put, let's say, 1,000 per day, sorry, slash day, or I can put, let me put it a little bit uh, wider, or I can put here for Mary $10,000 per week, and I will uh, uh, put it for week. But I prefer just to put uh, rate, standard rate, and overtime rate per hour. Overturn rate, overtime rate means how much will it cost John's or Mary's uh, hour work, sorry, work per hour or per day or per week if he or she is going to work overtime. Okay, so I can put here 150, sorry, and here 300. Cost per use is something which will be explained separately. This is, but you can, uh, you can uh, uh, consider it as one time cost per task. So, it means that if it is, let me, uh, let me say $50, then if John is going to work on tasks, which 100%, okay, and he is going to work at, uh, uh, on a task which lasts one day, it is eight hours. So the total cost will be 
$800, eight hours multiplied by $100, plus $50. So the, ho- uh, the total cost will be $850. On the other hand, if he is going to work on task which will last two days, two days and eight hours per day means 16 hours, the total cost will be 16 hours multiplied by $100. It is $1,600 plus $50. So this is once per, this cost per use means once per task in fixed uh, amount, which is $50 here. Accrue at is how much the actual cost will be calculated and when. So let's say that you have here prorated start and end. Here, what I, I'm just speaking for today, everything else will be shown in my next videos. I will cover a lot of videos be, uh, uh, about resources, how to use them, how to see costs, etc., etc. But for now on, let's say that John is supposed to work on, on, a, uh, on a task which will, for simplicity, uh, last one day. This is eight hours. And let's put here zeros and zeros. Okay, now, if he is supposed to work on a task which will last one day, me at, and it means eight hours, for example, it means that he, his cost will be $800. Okay, now prorated means if we mark task 50% completed, it means that John worked already four hours, then actual cost will be 50% of this standard, uh, uh, the, the whole cost, which is $800. So if we put for a task that it is finished 50% and the total cost is $800, it means that the actual cost will be 50% of $800, which is $400. On the other hand, if we put start and jo- uh, accrue at start, it means no matter if the John is going to, uh, is, uh, 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 has worked on a task one minute, one second, one hour, the whole eight hundred dollars will be calculated as actual cost. It means as soon as you start work, no matter how much work was performed, the whole amount of cost for John per task is uh, actual cost. It means here one task eight days, eight hours per day, one task one uh, one day duration, eight hours, $800 is total cost. And John just worked one hour. Who cares? $800 uh, dollars is the total cost. And the on opposite thing is N. N means when John, let's say that John has to work on one task, which is one day duration, which is eight hour. The total, total cost is $800. If John has finished seven hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds of work, so just one second is missing for completing the task, the actual cost will be zero. So it means, end means, until task is not 100% finished, actual cost is zero. That is the easiest way to understand. So be aware that for each and every resource, work resource, you can, pu- uh, you can choose standard rate, maximum units, overtime rate, cost per use, when the, uh, uh, when the actual cost is going to be calculated at start, at end, or prorated, and which standard calendar is going, uh, uh, is going to be used uh, for that resource, which is going to be covered also in my, uh, some of my next videos. So here is where you can define uh, your resources. 
And one thing more, if I go in in analysis and I type Nenad, my name, and if I hit enter, here in resource sheet, Nenad will be added with 100%, with zero standard rate and zero overtime rate. So I strongly, this, I will say, I strongly do not recommend to define your resources through here, through this column. But instead of that, when you need a resource, uh, define that resource here and put all necessary data for that partic particular resource here. Thank you very much for your attention. See you very soon.